Hey, -o, Mr. Outwell here coming at you with a little help on how to use Zoom on Canvas. So uh, you've logged in, you're ready to learn to get some knowledge. If you know a movie I just quoted, put a comment down below. Let's see if you know. If you've logged on, you're ready to go. You go to the home screen of whatever course you're trying to do your Zoom call in. There's a little tab here that says Zoom. We're going to click that. Your teacher can organize these however you'd like. Ultimately, you just want to find the one that says Zoom. So you want to click that. And then there's going to be upcoming meetings, previous meetings, cloud recordings. So after your teacher has recorded some things, you can actually go back and reference these if you'd like. But we're going to go to the upcoming meeting of oh, math is amazing. Of course it is. Yes. And so we want to click join here. It's going to ask you if you want to open the Zoom client. Now, if you have the client on your phone or your computer, I would encourage you to use it. It just makes things work a little smoother, uh, but you can actually access Zoom through the browser if you'd like. So you click open Zoom. And join the meeting. And at least for my classes, I'm going to have a waiting room where you can't actually enter until I give you permission. So. Right now it's just saying, please wait. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap that on my phone to admit. It's gonna say, hey, audio preferences. Really just click the big blue button. It's probably gonna work out for you. And right now, oh, hey, that's me on my phone and, and this is me on my camera. Oh, oh. Anyways, this might be a little weird with all the videos going on, but this is basically what would happen. Your professor, your instructor is gonna talk to you about, hey, Here's what we're doing today in Zoom, all this blah, blah, blah. And uh, you're gonna have some options, okay? You're gonna be able to unmute yourself, unmute yourself clicking that button. that button. That was weird. Uh, you can start video. Uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna have this disabled for my classes, so we'll see if you can actually do that. Uh, here's the big thing that you need to do, okay? Click participants, okay? Because what's gonna happen is now, you have a list of who's on the Zoom call, but more importantly, you have these little icons here, and I want you to be using these. It's gonna help me as your instructor to know who has a question, who's following me. Sometimes I'll ask, hey, is everybody doing okay? And you're not gonna have access to your videos, so you're just gonna click that little yes button or no button or whatever you want. So we have raise hand, yes, no, I mean, you can read these. As you can see right beside me as a participant, whatever I end up clicking, it shows up on that little icon right there. So what if I've said yes, but now I want to not say yes. We just click that icon again. And as you can tell in the screen, uh, that little icon went away. So another thing to know is for more icons, you know, I might ask for a thumbs up, click the more icon here and you have a like, dislike, that could be your thumbs up, right? Or your thumbs down. Uh, you could give yourself a little round of applause there with the clap. Uh, this is not the please deliver me some coffee uh, icon. That's just, hey, I'm gonna need a break. I'm gonna come right back. That's cool. So this is gonna be a great way for you to communicate with me just really quickly, because I'll have this list popped up as well. And I can see where you're at in terms of uh, how you're following and all that good stuff. Another thing you need to know about is the chat. So you click chat. If your client is open, it pops up a new window. Sometimes the chat will actually be embedded in this screen as well. Uh, it just depends on how your settings are. And you'll have the opportunity to chat to everyone. hey -o. Or if you want, you'll be able to chat with me privately. Um, so if you chat with me privately, it'll give that little privately icon there so that you'll know, hey, that's only going to your teacher. Then you can switch back and forth by clicking this little arrow, uh, whoever you're desiring to chat with. Personally, as an instructor, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lock chat to where it's only on the public stream or to me privately to where you won't be able to chat in Zoom with your uh, classmates. It'll just make it a little easier for me to be able to manage everything that's going on and give y'all a better experience in Zoom to get your focus on the content and allow me to help. So outside of that, there's one other thing I wanna show you just to give you a heads up on how you can change things. 
uh, as more people are coming in, as different video feeds are up, you know, in other classes, you might get your video feed. People's little faces will pop up right up here, but you can also switch to gallery view, which changes it to where everyone has their own little tile and you can switch the view like that if you'd like. There's also speaker view, right? So whichever you prefer, go for that. Uh, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you're ready to learn with me and your other instructors on Zoom through Canvas. And I am looking forward to seeing you in office hours because you best be there.